Okay, so before we get started, I'm going to ask a question, then you're going to answer. I'm going to ask, what time is it? And then you're going to shout, M Kids. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. What time is it? It's M Kids time. What time is it? It's M Kids time. Let's try that again. What time is it? Really loud. It's M Kids time. Are you ready to begin? Let's go. Guys, pictures will be appearing on your screen soon and these are clues so that you can guess which story in the New Testament we are reading today. Are you ready? Did you guess? What does a biblical woman, feet and oil have to do with each other? Hmm. Ask your parents or someone close to you to help you think. I hope you got it. It's the story where a woman washed, dried and anointed Jesus' feet with very special oil. Let's read it together. Luke 7 verse 44 to 48. Then he turned to the woman and said to Simon, Do you see this woman? I came into your house. You did not give me water for my feet, but she wet my feet with her tears and wiped them with her hair. You did not give me a kiss, but this woman from the time I entered has not stopped kissing my feet. You did not put oil on my head, but she has poured perfume on my feet. Therefore, I tell you, her many sins have been forgiven as her great love has shown. But whoever has been forgiven little loves little. Then Jesus said to her, your sins are forgiven. Wow, she was crying on Jesus' feet, drying it off with her hair, kissing his feet, and then putting oil on his feet. Does that sound a bit funny to you? It may sound funny today, but in biblical times, people washed other people's feet and people anointed other people with oil. It's almost like blessing, you know, almost as praying that God will be kind to the person and help him. This per perfume was very special and very expensive, but this woman decided she wanted to use it on Jesus. He is her friend, her Lord and her King. He forgave everything she had done wrong and felt bad about. She wanted to show him she loved him. This is a very special moment for Jesus and for the woman. It helps this woman to show that what she's feeling. We're talking about love today, but specifically how you can show Jesus that you love him. The woman used oil and showed Jesus very personally that she loved him and was grateful for him. What can you do to show Jesus that you love him? You can tell Jesus, you can tell him what it is that you appreciate about him and what you're thankful for. You can show your love to him by doing what he asks you. You can sing for him. Will you show Jesus you love him? It can be very special to you and to him. There are so many reasons to love him. Let's learn to show him. And remember, he loves you so much. With Jesus, we can learn to love others too. I've got joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I've got joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. So very happy I've 
joy, joy, joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Let's pray together. Lord, thank you for loving us so much and that as we experience your love, we can get to know you more and more and that we can love you more each day as well. Help us to also learn to love others around us. Thank you that you are always with us and that we can trust you and that we can know that we are never alone. Amen. Bye guys. <laughs>